I am completely dead today. You know, when I was 14, 22, even 28, I could do a night loud like this without any problems. But now that I'm 33 years old, ah, it is rough. Don't drink. I don't recommend it. Just have beer or whiskey, but don't, don't like party. It's not good for you. It hurts. The older you get, the worse it gets. editing yesterday's vlog. I don't think today will be that interesting though when I think about it. And this is one of the struggles that I usually have when it comes to vlogging and when it comes to making videos is that I don't know what the video is going to be about. I just document what I think might be interesting or something that I can have to cut together bits and pieces in the video. Okay, vlog is done. I want to discuss a little bit about this entire vlog, vlog situation or cinematic stuff because uh, the more that I do these vlogs, the more I enjoy the craftsmanship of editing and filmmaking and trying to think of what to shoot and when to shoot it and why to shoot it. When I started making vlogs or videos in general, everything that I thought to capture when I was at a place or wanted to make a vlog was to shoot in a big B-roll sequence or make the sequence look as cool as I possibly could. And one of the greatest things about doing that was that I learned so much but when you're watching bad videos they get stale and they feel boring because there's like me talking about what to shoot and then showing you that for one minute and then talking about how what to shoot again. I know that a lot of people feel the pressure of having to get the most cinematic things when they're out traveling instead of actually just recording and documenting what is going on. And in my opinion, the trend of doing cinematic travel videos is gone. And when I'm saying gone, I don't mean that it's entirely going to disappear. There's still some fantastic creators that are doing insanely good travel videos. But if you are a creator in a position where you want to start making videos, then it's it's gonna be very hard for you to grow an audience just by making travel videos, especially if you don't put yourself in the center of those. But the thing that I hear the most from people that are commenting on my videos and asking me things is like, how how do I start? I wanna make the same videos as you do. I wanna make the same kind of poker video. And the thing is that when you jump on a trend, then the trend is already so far gone. So when you post a video, there's also gonna be like a thousand other people that does it, unless you actually caught a trend before it became a trend. So scrolling back a little bit to travel videos and the reason that I'm just recording fun videos <laughs> or fun videos, I mean like the videos that I make without the epic B-roll, without the super cinematic stuff and the 85 millimeter 1.8 lenses is because I don't think it feels a purpose for the videos that I want to make. Of course, I could stay down here and produce a superb video with seven days of shooting, but for me, that doesn't really fulfill my creativeness and also doesn't give me the joy of practicing my editing the way that I want to practice. And the word practicing is something that I think 
should be in your vocabulary every single day when you're making stuff. It doesn't matter if it's videos or whatever it is. Practice. Just practice, be consistent, that will yield results in anything. It's incredibly hot in here on the balcony. It's like a whole vent. Thank you.